Hi, welcome to my channel, Ailani Creations. My name is Wendy, and today we'll be learning how to make this Christmas wreath earring. Before we start, I want to show you other earrings I have made using the same technique. The technique of adding the bigger crystals and then seed beads around it. Once you learn this technique, you'll be able to make all sorts of earrings and also a bracelet. This one here, I used white crystals plus some pink and red seed beads. I added some chains and a teardrop in the middle. Here is another similar one where I added chains in the middle and a heart on the bottom. This is a heart shaped earring and I used this technique to add some color to the earring. Another upside down U but with a bead in the middle. Here is a round one with red crystals and a teardrop dangling on the bottom. You can also make a small one with just 5 crystals and form almost like a flower shape with it. Or change it up by adding small beads on the top and bigger beads in the middle. I really like this earring because it reminds me of an Easter egg. I also made a matching bracelet for those earrings. Alright, let's get started. Materials wise, we will need 4.5 inch of half hard 20 gauge wire. We will need 20 inches of 28 gauge wire. Another 6 inches of 28 gauge wire. 16 3mm green bicone crystals some gold and red seed beads. I am also using a white pearl here because this pearl has a really big hole size that can fit through a couple wires. Um, it's up to you what you want to use in the middle. Tools the same as usual, a wire cutter and a round nose plier, a nylon jaw plier and a chain nose plier, and something that can form the wire into a circle. We will start by bending this 20 gauge wire into a circle. Make sure to bend the ends as well. Now we will use a round nose plier to create a loop at one end of the circle. To create the loop, you want to put the edge of the wire on the round nose plier and turn it all the way around. And then bend it backwards slightly. Now we will add the green bicone crystals to the circle that we formed. I have finished adding all 16 green crystals to the wire and you'll notice that there's some extra space here. The reason for that is when we start adding the seed beads and wrapping the wire around the green crystals, it will start to fill up those space. The amount of space depends on your wire length and crystal size. Again, I'm using 3mm crystals and my wire is 4.5 inches and 16 crystals was the right amount for me. Now that we have added all the crystals, we can create a loop on the other end so the crystals don't fall out. We will want to make a loop that is the same size as the other loop on the other side. You see here, if you only bend the round nose plier one way and don't bend it backward, it will be somewhat flat. So you want to put it back in and bend it backward slightly. And it will form this round circle. Now we will wrap this long 28 gauge wire around one end of the circle so that we can start adding the seed beads. Wrap it around 5 to 6 times and then push the wires together so that it looks neat and clean. Now we will add red and gold seed beads to the 28 gauge wire, adding more red than gold. I am only adding 10 for now, we will add more as we go around the green crystals. I am wrapping 5 seed beads around one crystal. The number of seed beads to use depends on your crystal and seed bead size. I wrap the seed beads around the green crystal and then wrap the 28 gauge wire around the 20 gauge wire once. This brings the wire to the inside of the circle. I will now wrap another 5 seed beads around the next green crystal from the inside. Again, I wrap the seed beads around the green crystal and then I will wrap the 28 gauge wire around the 20 gauge wire once. I added another 10 seed beads to the wire and we'll repeat the steps to wrap the seed beads around the next two green crystals. Now you repeat the steps until you get all the way to the other side. I have gone all the way around. I have one green crystal left. I will now wrap 5 seed beads around this green crystal and then wrap the 28 gauge wire around the 20 gauge wire a couple of times. Now we will repeat the steps and go all the way back to the other side. We will start with 10 C beads again and repeat the steps.
Just keep going until you get all the way to the other end again. I have one green crystal left. I will now wrap the C beads around it and then I will wrap the 28 gauge wire around the 20 gauge wire a couple of times to secure everything in and then I will cut off any remainder 28 gauge wires. Use a chain nose plier to flatten any wire that is sticking out. And then bend the loops slightly so that they are pointing up straight. I want to make sure that my circle is still round. Next, we'll use the 6 inch 28 gauge wire to connect the loops together and add the bow on top. Run the 28 gauge wire through the loops a couple of times to make sure that it is secure. I did it about four times. Now you can use the nylon jaw plier to pull and tighten the wires. Next, we'll create the bow. As I mentioned earlier, I'm using this pearl here because the hole size is pretty big and will allow the wire to go through it a couple of times. We added the pearl to one of the wires and now we are running the other wire through the other side of the pearl. Basically crisscrossing and locking the pearl in. Next we'll add 12 C beads to one side of the wire and then put the wire through the pearl again. Add 8 C beads to the wire that you just pulled through. Cut off some of the extra wire, leaving about one third of an inch of extra wire, and then create loops using a round nose plier. This will lock off the beads in. Now we repeat on the other side. You can put your bows through the round nose plier to make it more round. Next, we'll use jump rings to connect the reef to air steps. Put one of the jump rings through the loops behind the bow. Close the jump ring. Now connect another jump ring to the first jump ring and add an airing stud. All right, we have completed our reef. If you made it this far, thank you so much for watching. If you have any questions, leave them in the comments. Thank you, and I'll see you next time. Bye.